it is Lindsay Skibar and Jeff Jackson, our real estate expert here at Bo, discussing an early spring market. Uh, so Jeff, tell us a little bit about what's going on out there in the frenzy that is uh, that is the first quarter of this year. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely, I guess it would be an understatement to say that it's an early spring market. <laughs> um, you know, typically what we see is through February, March, and April, we start to see a ramp up every year. It's it's quite consistent in listings and sales. Uh, but this year we've seen that that has happened really quickly and early. And, it you know, it's the, the weather is really irrelevant. I would say the, the, the larger factors at play here are uh, buyer preferences, you know, amidst the pandemic. Uh, and I think the other big one is the Bank of Canada finally made a small interest rate move. And the expectation that they'll they'll need to continue making that move to curb inf inflation, which is at uh, a very high level right now. So uh, buyers are are keen to get in. You know, maybe they have a rate hold for ninety or hundred and twenty days, and that's not going to last forever. They they want to get in the market while they can still get uh, what what is historically very cheap money. Yeah. So there's a lot of buyers out there and less sellers out there. Therefore, the power is in the hands of the sellers. Now tell us a little bit about that detached market um, versus condos. What is happening in the detached market and um, how should sellers be thinking about when they are thinking of going to sell the market? Yeah, uh, so we're seeing a lot of subject free offers. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of uh, obviously competing, uh, usually when you have competing offers. If you have a lot of competing offers, very often a property will sell for over, over the asking list price. And that's what we're seeing right now. And, you know, as a seller, the, the difficult thing and the reason that we're seeing uh, property sell for so much over list, I would say is really twofold. It's, it's comp uh, buyers are very competitive, but also they're, it's hard to price a home when there's not a lot of sales comparables. So, you know, we'll use... Uh, a fake community, just as an example, we'll say that the average price last year might've been 500,000, let's say 150 homes sold at that 500,000 mark. Well, when you're pricing your home, you're kind of looking backwards. And a lot of those sales comparables would suggest that your subject property is worth 500,000, but because the market has shifted so quickly, you know, those homes might be selling for 600,000 now. And, and so you really want to look at the most recent comparables and look at what what properties are actually selling for? Because often, as I said, they're selling for, for way over list. Um, you know, we, we've, there was one example uh, last week in the Southeast of Calgary. Uh, we had, I believe 43 offers on this property. Of course it was subject free. Of course it was, it sold for hundred K over list. Though, you know, that's obviously indicative of a frenzy. But what I find really interesting about that is that you actually, you have, the next morning you have 42 buyers who are still out there in the market and they're disappointed and they're competitive and they're waiting for the next property to hit the market. Uh, when it does, I think that there's in that frenzied thinking, there's a lot less uh, analytical and rational thinking and there's a lot more competitiveness. So if you've, and for a lot of buyers, you know, they've lost once, they've lost twice, they've lost three times. And then it, it, becomes more about winning than it does about actually evaluating the value of the home. And uh, so that's uh, part of the reason that we're seeing so many properties sell for, for you know, often over a hundred thousand over list price. So if I'm, if I know I'm, I'm about to sell my house, uh, thoughts on speed to market. Um, I've, I've made my mind up that I'm going to sell my detached home. When, when's the right time for that? Should I wait for that spring market to hit late April? Yeah, it's, uh, I probably wouldn't if it were me right now. I, I think that, you know, the advantage of waiting, of course, is that your curb appeal is nicer, the weather's better, your grass is green. Uh, I think that the upside of going to market now, uh, while interest rates continue to be low and, and you know that you have a lot of buyer demand, uh, I would I'd be looking to, to capitalize on that now. And then as I'm going to price my home, I've made the decision, I'm going to sell my own home because I can evaluate all the offers that are going to flood me myself and I have decisions to make. What about pricing strategies or listing strategies uh, would you deploy in a hotter market here? 
So one thing that uh, we see in other provinces that we don't see as much in Alberta uh, is a pre-listing inspection. And if if I were to take my market, my home to market today, I would absolutely do this. Um, so a pre-listing inspection is simply an inspection that you get before you list and you make that available to buyers. And the reason you would do that is to encourage subject free offers. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's a, it's a big risk for buyers to place offers. You know, the last two homes that I've purchased have been without uh, property inspections, but most, most buyers I find are pretty risk averse uh, towards that topic. So, that being said, as a seller, if you want to encourage uh, subject free offers, you could consider consider you know spending the five hundred dollars, getting this pre listing inspection. It kind of gives you two things. One, it allows you to actually fix a few of these minor you know nitpicky things that that a buyer is going or an inspector is going to pick up on. You know, uh, maybe some of your outlets aren't. GFCI, you know, it was never code that you had to have those little reset buttons so that if water contacted them, they would uh, trip a breaker. That's one of the, the things that is really easy and it's cheap and you know that you can just fix. So it, it reveals things like that. And then of course, if you make this report available to buyers, they can review it. If they have a chance, you know, if they have an evening to review it, it gives them a peace of mind to go in with a subject free offer often, you know, providing their financing is strong. So $500 to get some assurance on the other side makes quite a bit of sense. Now, um, in terms of pricing my home, you know, if I'm hearing homes in my neighborhood are going $100,000 over list, should I price my home higher or should I keep it where at market value and just hope that I get flooded with offers? What, what's the thought there? Yeah, it's it all comes down to strategy. You know, if 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 you think that your home is worth 600,000, you know, a lot of the comparables are going to suggest 500, 520, given what's happened in the last few months. Uh, a lot of the homes we see go to market at 520 and, and sell for way over list. Uh, what we're doing is really, we're resetting the bar and, and you can go to market at, at, the new bar uh, and you're going to be guessing a little bit because you won't have a really solid number of sales comparables. Of course, we have all that data available on our website. Uh, but yeah, we do see sometimes sellers choose this strategy to purposefully list low. Uh, what that does is it creates obviously a bit of a frenzy. It brings more buyers to the table, maybe buyers who were this home might actually sell outside of their price point, but it brings them in and, and creates this frenzy. And I mean, if you've ever been to an open house that's been jammed, you, you know that competitive pressure. And uh, you know it's one strategy that some of our sellers are using to, to sell well over list. Well, it sounds like the time is now. If you have, uh, if you want to do a deep dive into the data, we have fully transparent data from on both the sold values and what's going on in the marketplace, so that you can have the most information you need at your fingertips when you go to list your home this early spring. Uh, if you have any questions for us, don't hesitate to comment in the section below, and we'd be happy to answer them. Good luck out there.